welcome to another installment of Lifting Our Voices, a weekly look at church music. I'm Jim Boatwright, Director of Music, Redeemer Lutheran Church in Columbia, South Carolina. Well, the hymn that I just played for you, we actually sang last week here at Redeemer, and it does have a particular Native American flair to it, you probably noticed, well, that's because it is. Actually, the song was written back in the 1800s, by a man whose name was Joseph Renwell. And Joseph Renwell worked in uh, what we now know of as Minnesota, and he worked with the Dakota uh, Native Americans that lived there. He was a fur trapper, and he uh, was a trader, and he lived among the people, and he wrote this song in the Dakota language, and he paraphrased part of the book of Jeremiah for this song. In fact, it was seven verses when it was originally written, and it was based on the part of Jeremiah that goes like this. It is the Lord who made the earth by his own power, who established the world by his wisdom and by his understanding stretched out the heavens. When he utters his voice, there is a tumult of waters in the heavens, and he makes the mist rise from the ends of the earth. He makes lightning for the rain, and he brings out the wind from the storehouse. So I think it's not by accident that we have this reflection in this hymn of so much in nature, the power of nature and how God can be seen, revered and worshiped through the mighty acts of creation. And in this song, Mr. Renville explores those images. Well, it only existed, the song only existed in the Dakota language for many years. And finally, it was decided that maybe English text would be nice. And so a man by the name of Philip Frazier was given the task to put English words to this. He chose instead to reflect on Psalm 102 and also Psalm 8 as he set English words that is to this Dakota tune. And what he drew from was this part of scripture. When I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place. What are humans that you are mindful of them? And so we have the idea of the vastness of God's creation and the wonder of all that he has made and the power of that creation and the insignificance of human beings. But at the end of the day, God in his love reaches out to us and touches us and continues to bring his love and grace to us. The two name of this song, as we learned before, all tunes have a name that sets them apart as being unique. The two name is La Quipero. And you may know that's a place in Minnesota, and that's the place where the original songwriter lived. And it's interesting too to me that it literally means lake that speaks. So that's the tune name. Now this coming Sunday for the anthem, our choir here is going to sing a delightful arrangement of this same Dakota melody. So I hope you can join us either online or in person as we listen to this great Native American song yet again. So I'd like to leave you with the last little bit of this really charming and wonderful Native American song. Mm -hmm. 